Can you address the contents of the report? It said that you okayed internal investigations without reviewing the evidence, investigations that had been altered. Yeah. Can you address that? What I'll say is that there's a process that we go through at the Oakland Police Department that every chief over the last 12 years have followed. It comes through a meeting where the chief is presented a case by the investigators and that internal command staff, which includes all the commanders from IED who have all reviewed that report. No chief would ever be able to do his or her job if they had to review over 200 sustained findings or cases that we sustained in OPD over a year's period. I hope you all want me to actually do my job of running the Oakland Police Department and addressing crime in this city. If I were to accept the fact that I need to review, then why do I have a chain of command? Why do I have commanders that are responsible for reading these reports and providing me an accurate account of what happened? That's what I got. I got my decision was based on the information that my investigators and my staff brought to me. And that's how I made the decision. In no way would I accept that they didn't provide evidence. That's a problem. Uh, in no way would I accept uh, that somebody engaged in misconduct and not addressed it. Uh, this is the process that we've used over the last several years. Do I think now in hindsight that we, based on some of the recommendations, that we could tighten that structure to make sure that there's even higher levels of review? Yes. Chief, was there someone on your command staff that was responsible for fully reviewing the report before it got? So I'm, I'm just going to jump in. I appreciate the questions on this. Uh, since there is a pending uh, question about the Chief's future, I, don't, I think we're just going to stick at a high level in terms of the contents of the report. I know that it's interesting. The Chief's view is strongly that it contains many inaccuracies. It's not complete. Just for now, we have to keep it at that level, and I appreciate but, that. Can you explain what the, the report, status of the report is right now? I mean, it, it, where is it now? You say it's not complete. Other people are saying that there's more information that needs to come out. What is, where are we with this report, and, and should it have been released at this point? So my understanding is probably no different than yours. The mayor has alluded to ongoing information that she's collecting. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what that is, but right now there's been the summary report that was released to the public by Judge Oreck, and then that report references confidential, more detailed reports, which have not yet been made to the public. And, that's and you may have alluded to this earlier, but are you taking any legal action or preliminary step at this point as, as his attorney? Right now, I'm simply representing the chief and seeking his immediate reinstatement uh, while he's on leave. If chief, that does not happen, what's your next steps? We'll address that. If, uh, hopefully, we never get there. Chief, how did Robert Marshall get a hold of the IAD conclusions? I'm sorry? How did the federal monitor get a hold of the IAD conclusions? How did this get to the federal monitor in the first place? I think to my attorney's point, there's still more investigation to, to, be con to be conducted because I do think that at some point when we see the final investigation, we'll know more. What, what, what tools do you have for him to be reinstated and how long are you going to wait for that to happen? Uh, there are various, well at this point it was the mayor's decision to place uh, the chief on leave and so we are, um, uh, we believe that the, when the mayor completes reviewing the material she's talking about, she'll quickly realize what the chief has said today is that he did not violate any policies and he should not be on leave. Um, did you make this case to the mayor when when she informed you of her decision and what was her feedback at the time? I'm not, I, I won't discuss my conversations with the mayor. A similar question asked slightly differently. Do you place any blame on any members of your command from let's say DC to uh, the captain of internal affairs for not giving you a fuller picture or is it the same thing? The monitor should not be casting you or others as the fault person or fault people for this. I think there's an ongoing investigation. Obviously, I don't have the conclusion of that investigation. I simply say that there's a structure in place for review of all internal investigations. That is a structure that has been in place for several years and it's never been questioned not by the monitor, not by any other body about how we review internal investigations. If you were to look at past reports, you'll see that they're clearly in those reports. It establishes from the monitoring team that they had no problem with the IED investigations. Uh, and so I feel confident that the process that we had in place on that day works. Uh, my expectation is that my commanders in internal affairs, all the way up to the deputy chiefs, review these reports thoroughly 
that when they come to a Friday meeting that they bring all of the evidence related to those cases so that I can make the right decision. It's not fair to the officer if I don't have that information. It's not fair to the community who makes the complaints oftentimes if I don't have all of that information so that I can make the best decision. Speaking about the community and alternative motives aside, how do you explain or make the case to the average Oakland resident how this affects them for people who may be thinking, oh, this is just insider political infighting? No, I think because it, it, it pulls at the credibility of the Oakland Police Department. And that really has been something that I have been focused on is rebuilding the reputation of this department. I've been trying to demonstrate to the public that we are compliant with the negotiated settlement agreement. That's been tough work. Uh, the police commission has been a partner in that through the hard work that they've done to help us approve policies. So I think all of that begins to erode when, pe when these type of reports come out. And then this reminds this community of the same old Oakland Police Department that they had experienced uh, with over the last two decades. And that's not who we are. Uh, this is a young department with a lot of great people working for it. Uh, they should be recognized for the work that they do. And I don't want this to tarnish that. Uh, it is hard enough solving crime in the city of Oakland. But it's even harder when people tarnish our reputation to the point where people don't want to communicate or deal with the Oakland Police Department. That's what I want. Uh, that's what concerns me for this community, is that they lose trust and faith in the process. Chief, do you think you're the first to experience this type of exit, first chief to be exited like this, or are you the latest in a series? So I think you've been around here a long time, and this is not the first time you've been to a press conference where a chief of police is talking about them wanting to save their jobs because of this same type of event, if you would. Um, and so this is the playbook. Uh, uh, and so, but I'm saying today that I don't want to be anyone's scapegoat, um, that I didn't do anything wrong. I followed the policies. I followed the protocols. And for that, I believe I should be reinstated. So the monitor's done this in the past, according to your insight, your information. Like I said, many chiefs have been before you, uh, being terminated as a result of recommendations. Uh, I'm clearly here before you now, as a rec because of a recommendation from the monitor. Chief, the report mentions a captain over on Lieutenant regarding the report. Um, the question is: Is that captain still with the police department? I, like, like my attorney said, I'm not going to speak to uh, people's due process um, I, because I'm not at liberty to discuss an open investigation. It's still, this investigation is still open. Uh, and so I want to be clear that it's not uh, appropriate. Um, even it wasn't appropriate in this case to even name me um, and to tell the public of what I was sustained for. Um, and so I'm not going to do that today. I'm, I'll let due process take place. These officers deserve fairness. They deserve an opportunity to vindicate themselves, and I'm not going to engage in that. Chief, the report said the officer coming. just received counseling, though, wasn't disciplined. Is that incorrect? Is that one of the inaccuracies? I won't, I won't speak specifically to those things. Chief, you mentioned this as just being a, a minor traffic or a car collision. Um, but the point is, the contention was it, it wasn't so much the collision, it was how it was not reported honestly and how it was not reflected properly in the, in the reports. Do you acknowledge that there, has, there were things done that were wrong in the reporting of that? I think the investigation that was done is consistent with the information that was provided to me. Um, and so I think from my perspective, uh, I believe that what was brought for me, in front of me, the evidence supported the findings that I approved. Now, if someone had some nefarious actions on the back end or things that I was unaware of, that's misconduct and we should deal with that misconduct. Uh, but it doesn't take away from me making a decision based on what it is that was in front of me. So I, I won't speak to uh, the, the things that were said in the report. The, uh, inaccuracies, inconsistencies, I think at some point we'll be able to share that with you. Chief, you mentioned 